site name location URL paste here okay save before we deploy I am showing you where it will be deployed in the global solution management here you will see the our deployed project and then we can see also from our web application let's deploy the project first by creating solution okay added solution activating feature okay build deployed let's go to the solution management if we refresh this page we can see pre delete er WSP has been deployed so it means it has been deployed successfully and if we go to the solution site action site settings and if we go to the site features then we can see two site features has been activated pre remove event receiver item event receiver and this is the name of the constructor of this event receiver if we go to the top of this file you can see pre remove event receiver okay so everything is working fine till now so let's check our document list here it is shared document if we go to the shared document and if you try to delete this it was deleted before now it shouldn't according to our code custom code okay ah the error is occurred so our custom event receiver is working so deleting is not allowed which is has been said by us our custom message when the delete has been occurred deleting is not allowed if we write deleting item is not allowed and we can do some other event here save build deploy okay deploy it again so if I try to delete now it's coming because it is recycled IIS so it is taking more time so if I try to delete now we should see our changed message deleting item is not allowed so in this way you can do your custom editing in the override item event and uh, when the there are some other event also item checking item checking out in and also you can do something uh, when the event is added and uh, there are some synchronous event and also asynchronous event and when the item is uh, modify you can do something on that we will show in the next lesson because it is very basic of uh, event receiver lesson now I will show you how to uninstall this project from your application for example in future you may do not need this so you can do it several way but I will show you one uh, easiest way from your project if you see here my project has been created in this folder 
which is uh, pre delete year pre delete year you can see from here and uh, in inside the bin folder and debug you will file a uh, setup so if you go to the command and if you just drag and drop this and uh, put like this set up and install sorry this will be like this Sorry, I make a mistake. Set up. Okay, good. It is deactivating the feature, then uninstalling. deactivating event list recreating solution deleting operation completed successfully okay now if you see the solution refresh there is no solution if we go to the search settings You will see the site feature is not available there. And uh, now you are able to delete from your shared document the item, I mean the item. Okay. If you delete, this will not show the message now. Oh, it is deleted. So uninstalled properly. So if you want to install again, you have to do the same. Instead of uninstall, you have to provide install. And in this way, you can create your event receiver, customize the event handler and uh, do whatever you want. This is the very basic lesson for uh, creating an event receiver in future i will sh show in deep now it should be there let's refresh okay deploy without any problem now if we upload some document then it should not be deleted let's see Upload. Okay. Try to delete. Yes. No. So, in summary, I explained to you how to create a event receiver using Visual Studio extension, Visual Studio .NET extension, using uh, 2005 or 2006. Here it was 2005 then how to edit event handler for a specific list and then uh, how to deploy and uh, how to uninstall and redeploy thanks to see this lesson and i hope you will get more advanced in future in this uh, customization of SharePoint development and also Visual Studio.net and uh, that's